Welcome to chapel, I think. This doesn't quite look like chapel. We just wanted to welcome you guys to the first two weeks of school at home with a little surprise chapel and a treat with Jesse for worship. And Josh Mason is gonna come tell us about Kenya. If you have any questions over the next few days, please reach out to us at any time, email, phone call, um, you can get a hold of us anyway. We love you and we're here to support you. Jesse, come on up. Well, hi, VCA families and students. Um, yeah, we're just gonna begin today with just one song of worship. And uh, we're just gonna sing a simple song, Great Are You, Lord. Uh, what, a, what a good time right now in this season to just declare God's goodness, God, declare God's greatness in the, in the face of what seems like a lot of chaos. And we just know that God's still on the throne. We know that he is still ruling and reigning. And so we're just gonna begin this morning by uh, worshiping him. So, if you want to join in, you can. You give life. You are love. You bring light to the darkness. You give hope. You restore every heart that is broken. Great you and we do declare especially in this time right now that you are great you are powerful you are strong you are mighty and we worship you for who you are in Jesus name we pray amen 
All right, guys, I'm going to turn it over to Josh Mason, and he's going to do a little devotional for us this morning. So take it away, Josh. All right, guys. I hope you're doing well. I know most of us are at home and, and we're hanging out. I've got four kids at home too, so our family knows all about it. But I wanted to start with a little scripture this morning, 1 John 4.18, and it's out of the Passion Translation. Um, it says this, Love never brings fear, for fear is always related to punishment. But love's perfection drives the fear of punishment far from our hearts. Whoever walks constantly afraid of punishment has not reached love's perfection. Our love for others is our grateful response to the love God first demonstrated to us. So I know it's, it's kind of a, a different time for us. You know, we, some of us are at home, been home a while. And I know that um, sometimes it can be scary. But we know that because God loves us, Jesus loves us, that we don't have to be scared. We don't have to be uh, fearful of anything. So I wanted to tell you, I told you I'd come back and talk about my trip to Kenya a little bit. And so at the end of January, I left with five other guys and we went to Kenya for 17 days. And it was absolutely amazing. I have a lot of stories. We met a lot of people, saw a lot of big animals. And normally if we were in the chapel, I'd be able to show you all these photos of all the big animals, but I can't do that right here. So maybe another time I'll be able to do that. But I wanted to tell you a story about a guy named Big Red. So the first week we were in Kenya, we spent a lot of time uh, ministering and preaching and, and asking people to, to meet Jesus. People got healed. And they met Jesus and a lot of fun times together. We were in Nairobi, the big, big city, where we did a crusade. And in that crusade, there were thousands and thousands of people there. And it was a lot of fun. Uh, but the second week we were there, we went to a remote area near the base of Mount Kilimanjaro, which is the biggest mountain in Africa. It actually has snow on the top of it. And we stayed in, the, in the, a bush camp uh, where there was animals everywhere, all around us. Every day we saw a lot of animals. Uh, the second night we were there, we each had a tent. Some tents were big, um, some were small. So three of us slept in small camp tents. And the second night, two of the guys, um, Pastor Sam and Jason, were uh, sleeping when they heard a noise, kind of like a growl. And that growl was right over their tents or right close to them. And so I woke up thinking it was a lion and others woke up thinking maybe it's a warthog like Pumbaa, but it actually was an elephant. A, a really big elephant was standing over their tents and his trunk was up going up and down their tents and on the side and and they were they were a little bit scared in fact Jason told me that uh, he woke up about midnight and never went back to sleep so he he was scared that an elephant would would trample him or something would happen to him we found out the next morning that yeah definitely were elephants around in our camp and we figured out that it was this one elephant in particular. Now, you know, a lot of elephants travel in packs. So the moms and the babies and the young ones all travel together. But most of the time, the big dad elephants, the males, travel by themselves. And so this was a young male. He had tusks that were pretty big. And in that area, the dirt is all red. So he would pick up the dirt and throw it on him. And he had a red tint to him. We saw that elephant every single day. Every day, we were really close to him. In fact, one of our team members, uh, Colby, was about 30 feet away from him to take, trying to take photos, and Big Red did not like that. We actually gave him the name Big Red because we saw him every day and, and he didn't have a name yet. But throughout that journey, we, we knew that Big Red was around all the time, and he's actually very dangerous. Elephants are not cute and cuddly when they're in the wild. They're very dangerous. They're actually the most feared animal in that area. So we knew that there was danger all around us all the time, but we weren't afraid. We knew that just like 1 John 4, 18 says, there's no fear in love. Jesus was with us and we were protected. Even though at night he was there, in the day he was there, and we're talking about Big Red and Jesus. So sometimes there's danger around us, but Jesus is always with us. And I'm excited to 
uh, try to get some pictures out to you guys. Maybe I can send some and you guys can look through a little slideshow of photos. But we saw three to 400 elephants, giraffes daily around our camp and probably two to 300 giraffes, zebra, warthogs, all different kinds of impala and antelope. Uh, we saw hippos and um, every jungle animal that you could think of, we saw except for an alligator or a rhino. Uh, but we had a wonderful time. We, we were able to meet many, many people. We meet, met the chief of, of several different villages. We were able to pray for those chiefs and bless them. Uh, we were able to go to schools where um, sometimes at that school they weren't able to eat. So that the day we were at a certain school, they we, we got to feed them a meal, two or three hundred people. So it was very an amazing time for all of us. We enjoyed uh, just meeting the people there and enjoyed spreading the love of Jesus there. So I said, I want to tell you all that just to say, remember that in these uncertain times that um, your parents, your teachers, your principals, they're all working very hard to make this the best experience that it can be. So let's have a lot of grace, let's have some patience, and let's just love everybody around us. Can we do that? All right. I'm gonna pray for you guys and then uh, Miss Rachel will come back. God, thank you for this amazing VCA family. We say, even in uncertain times, we say yes to you. We say we will not live in fear. We will love those around us. We will be good examples for our households and our friends and our families. And we choose you, Lord. We say yes to you, Jesus. Thank you for health over our bodies, for loving homes, and for food to eat. I just ask a blessing, God, for every single family that is a part of BCA. In Jesus' name, amen. See you guys. Thanks so much, Josh. Everybody give Josh a round of applause. Now you can start your schoolwork. <laughs> yes, we just want to encourage you guys to. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> we just want to encourage you guys over the next um, two weeks to pay attention to your parents. Um, give them the respect as your teachers. They are your teachers. Um, your teachers have provided and put together really good plans for you guys. Again, if you have questions, you can reach out to your teachers or to us directly. Um, we love you. We're here for you in any way that we can help. All right, we're going to pray for you. God, we thank you for our VCA family. We thank you for the students and the parents and the teachers and the administration, God. And we thank you, Father, that um, you're still on the throne and you have a plan. So, God, right now we pray that you would pour out your peace. You would pour out your very presence on each of these families. God, that you would give them strength and encouragement. God, that you would give them hope, you would give them patience for one another, and above all, God, that you would just give everybody soft hearts. Soft hearts to you, soft hearts to siblings, soft hearts to parents. And God, that this would be a gift of a special time together as a family. We pray, Father, that you would bless this time. In your precious name, amen.